Oh, this fellow's moving. Okay. This is what, a monarch caterpillar? There is, this is the little one. Is? A queen. A queen butterfly. Mm -hmm. Which feeds on milkweed, just like the monarch. Okay, now this one okay. looks just like the, the, back, the caterpillars of, it looks very much like a monarch butterfly, a caterpillar. Yes, but to you, me. you see it has three, you see those three, three pairs, sets of, yeah, three, three pairs of, of uh, tubercles or... Tubercles. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And, and what kind of an adaptation is that? It's typically more for sensations. Mm -hmm. uh, and some think that perhaps it is a frightening kind of uh, adaptation. Oh, so they're, they're really they're, they're this, the scary yaks of the uh, caterpillar world. He's like bullhorns. Yeah, so this is a queen and this is the monarch. Okay, so the difference is in the pattern of the stripes. Well, the pattern is can be variable. Uh, it, 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 you have to look for those uh, those tubercles. Those okay. So it's the, the tubercles that make mm -hmm. the difference because yes. the, the the monarch only has one set. No, well, actually, two sets. Two sets. Yeah. So I, I only you, see you one. Can, it, it's because the the this set right there at the posterior end is not as well developed. Oh, at the posterior, like down here, at the mm -hmm. end. The end. Is that typical for for the monarchs that they don't have? Um, well, well developed tubercles? No. As a matter of fact, they, they can. It's based on the size of the. Well, this guy's the, hungry. The instar. This guy's looking for another meal. Well, Why isn't he just biting down? They're all voracious eaters. Voracious. Great word. Look at that hole they, they, they cut by eating. Beautiful. What percentage of the eggs develop into caterpillars? Well, the, the best way I can answer that is the, the normal rule of thumb is that for every 100 eggs that are laid by an adult butterfly, mm -hmm. only one will survive to become an adult butterfly. Really? Yes. One out of 100? Yes. So, so that it's... Uh, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Out Truly, there. Or, or, so who's eating them? Uh, birds. They're eating the tiny little eggs. No, no. Ants will will uh, ingest a lot of the eggs. Really. Uh, and uh, so will uh, s small reptiles, lizards. Hmm. I don't remember uh, seeing them on my plants, but I know that I saw oh, tons yes. of yeah. eggs. Uh, and uh, there, there are a lot of uh, uh, insects that will also feed. All right, so they're they're obviously surviving as a species with that ratio. Without question. Yep. So that's their adaptation is creating lots and lots and lots of eggs. So at least you know one out of a hundred will survive. Doesn't sound like a whole whole lot of success. One out of a hundred. Well, you you have to recognize that. <coughs> If we consider what is the most abundant uh, animal in the world, it, of all the species, mm -hmm. which are there more of than any other organism? Well, from what I've read, it's the beetle. It's the beetles, but second are the moths and butterflies. Really? The moths yes. and the butterflies are mm -hmm. the largest? The second. The, the, second. Second, the second largest. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I knew that the beetles were the greatest. And, and, it, and you have to recognize, too, that uh, only about 10% of all of the Lepidoptera are butterflies. And the Lepidoptera, 90, what, let's, that, let's, that, let's hear that word again. The, the Lepidoptera. And those are the? Those are the scale-winged insects, which are oh. the moths and butterflies. Okay, so they're both scales. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Look at this guy. He's really tr he's really making tracks. Where's he going? Yeah. Away from the heat, probably. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is too hot for him. Well, what what they do is they tend to feed more commonly at night oh. because it's safer. Oh, well. It's During the day, they they don't have 
a visual system that is equivalent to the adult. Uh, they have what are referred to as simple eyes, and those simple eyes uh, really here. detect just the presence of light. So they. Okay, we're gonna stop for.